Okay, as we start with Tinkercad and open up our work plane, the first thing that we're going to want to do is go to the top left hand corner and change the name that it generates for us to our name and whatever we're building to for today. In this case, it's going to be Mr. K Keychain. Now, before we get into building our keychain, I want to take a look at all the basic shapes that Tinkercad allows for us to use to build and make our creative designs. We have stars, rectangles, text tools, scribble tools, geometric lines, and a mix of different shapes that allow us to form them into whatever creative thing we want. The only limit is our imagination. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a rectangle or a box onto the work plane. You can zoom in, zoom out using your cursor or using your mouse. On the left hand side, the duplicate tool is where you'll find it. You can use the top on the left hand corner, there's a cube that allows you to control the view of whatever you're building in 3D. You can use the plus sign to zoom in, change different angles and perspectives to get a better look at it, all from the left hand side of your screen. The right hand side allows you to have a detailed look at whatever shape you're building in that exact moment. And you can extrude it up and down using the center point that is in every model or shape that you build. Extruding simply means turning a 2D shape into 3D. We're going to extrude our keychain to 5 millimeters. Now millimeters is a common measurement that would be used in 3D printing and we will use it every time when it comes to our measurements. In this case, our cube has now turned into a rectangle, 60 millimeters by 20 millimeters to be exact. The next step is dragging simple text onto our cube or our rectangle and scaling it down. In order to scale it down, you can use one of the points of the text, the corners, and drag it down to your preferred size. Now, if you want to drag it down to scale, simply drag and hold the shift button at the same time. You can control and get a different view of your uh, text and we can see that it is extruded quite a lot. So I'm gonna extrude it down to about three to two millimeters. You can also control the depth of your design and how far in it goes into your other uh, our base using the cone the black cone tool that's just the top of the center tool now i'm going to type in the text by simply clicking on to the text tool and typing in my name after i do that i have the option to make it a solid or a hole now the difference between the two is that a hole is simply negative space so when we combine everything what you see would be more indented rather than present as a solid just to give you a better view i'm going to duplicate both models and show you the difference now in order to select specific points of my design i just have to double click and then i'm able to change it simply like that to a hole now it's time to add the cylinder or the slot for the key ring because what is a keychain without a key ring? The best thing to do is now scale this down to five millimeters, five to eight millimeters. If you scale it down correctly using the shift button while holding the corner edges, you will be able to do this very swiftly. The next thing is scaling it using the cone tool and making a duplicate of it so that you can then attach it to the next keychain. 
I have it in different orientations just to get a different look and view of the keychain. But once this is all done and complete and you're satisfied, the next step is to group them. So you're going to drag your mouse all over your designs. And after that, you're going to go to the top right and hit the group button. Once you hit the group button, this solidifies all your designs into one movable piece that is ready to be exported for 3D printing. So once you're ready to export, you're simply going to hit the export button, hit everything in design, make sure everything is design in design is selected, and select STL. This is the format we use for 3D printing. Once STL is downloaded and ready to go, you are ready to start printing. Congratulations on designing your first keychain. Using simple shapes and design tools to teach you how 3D printing connects to science, technology, engineering, art, and math. That's theme. This project teaches you how to use the digital tools like a designer, understand measurements in millimeters, think like an engineer, and use basic shapes and bring your ideas to life.